to proceed to my next major topic. So network management, okay, can now just be brought within the grid infrastructure environment. But in some ways, even more powerful than that is the storage capability. Storage as well can move into grid infrastructure domain. Now, when we talk about storage, we have what's called, Oracle now calls it the cloud file system, the cloud FS, ACFS, previously known as the ASM clustered file system, ACFS, or now it's been remarketed, the cloud file system. ACFS, in some ways, it's a file system like any other. But it does have some very nice features. It can do replication, snapshots, encryption. The replication really does work across a wide area network. So that we can write, you know, and we can use as a regular file system, store our word processing documents, our Excel spreadsheets, anything we like. There, oh, it scales limitlessly, of course. On one site, automatically replicate to another site. So the snapshot capability, that's very similar. The technology is very similar in concept to um, Solaris ZFS snapshots. ACFS will allow you to create a snapshot up to oh, several dozen snapshots are possible, and then will give you a read consistent copy of the file system with, a reason, with an efficient creation mechanism based on copy on update, very similar to the way ZFS works. It also, with the latest release, has encryption, um, which does conform to the various federal standards that are required for encrypting data on disk, transparently, of course. You know, the encryption happens to and from the path to disk. So if your data is protected on disk, even if the machines are discarded, the data is still protected. But because it's transparent, your approved applications can still see the data. These are nice facilities. So when I say that ACFS in some ways is a file system like any other, yes, but it can do these things you cannot do, for example, with ext3, for instance, or NTFS. Well, NTFS can do replication now, but I don't think you can do some of the other capabilities. Also, of course, Grid infrastructure storage provides storage for your databases. And that's ASM, which has been around since 10G release one, though it was a bit unreliable with 10G release one, but it's been around for many, many years now. I do not want to spend time, unless anyone's particularly interested and chats in a message, I don't particularly want to spend time talking about using grid infrastructure for storing database files. We have had a separate series of webinars to do with that. So just in summary, of course, grid infrastructure is used for storing database files, and the storage is extremely fast and reliable, and we'll be only too pleased to prove to you why it outperforms third-party products, should any of you be interested. And speaking of replacing third-party products, how do we position grid infrastructure? Well, just as with the network capabilities, the network capabilities didn't do anything that you couldn't have done before, but maybe they did it in a more convenient fashion, Maybe they can do it more cheaply. And it's the same with storage. Third-party products can do what ACFS can do. But ACFS can also replace third-party products. It can replace clustered file systems. It can replace networked file systems. Your net, all your file servers, your NFS servers, your Windows SMB, your Samba file servers. We can replace all of those. It can replace hardware RAID. Many large environments will, of course, be using SAM storage, and your underlying storage will be LUNs, striped and mirrored LUNs, coming from some sort of storage array. Grid infrastructure can do the striping and mirroring for you. Uh, the advice on this is somewhat indeterminate and very much site-specific. Uh, I could say grid infrastructure will replace your hardware RAID. At most sites, I'll be saying that grid infrastructure will work with it. If you already have a SAN capable of doing striping and mirroring, we will layer grid infrastructure on top. And that double layer of striping can give you fantastic performance. So it can replace RAID or work with RAID. It becomes an alternative then to your SAN and network attached storage. Um, so it can replace iSCSI or NFS sharing mechanisms for network attached storage. You can replace the RAID systems you have in the background if you wish to. And it may indeed give you cost savings because of that, though that of course would require a certain amount of investigation. We couldn't guarantee that. 